What do I want to get out of black pumps today? I have a different part of me that I've not been able to get in touch with, which is I've always been all about business, and as I get older, I'm beginning to think about non-business issues. How do I help people grow? Black pumps means a lot. It's, uh, it's empowering, it's uplifting, it's uh, visionary, it's, uh, you know, it's giving back to the community, so it encompasses a lot. I think definitely just just learning how to you know, empower people around me, hopefully get empowered myself, finding my purpose as I was talking about earlier. I think that uh, in today's society there's so much stuff going on socially uh, in this country, in Africa, in Europe, and I think that we are always like on social media, like what are we going to do, like mobilize, like, everyone together, protest, blah 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 blah. Like, but what are people actually doing? And so Black Pumps to me represents that effort in like trying to actually mobilize people instead of just talking and saying the things that society expects us to say. We're backing all that stuff up with action. You see results with Black Pumps and the result is something that we will talk about later on, either today or tomorrow. But when I see, when I talk about results, it's something that makes you want to do more for people. I met Noni, uh, I don't know, I she's been at Equinox for a while, but I had no idea um, what she did, and I had no idea she was this phenomenal, but she's absolutely fabulous. Um, so I, what I'm looking forward to getting out of this is learning more about this organization and maybe how I can become a part of it and participate. Is this the same, Noni? <laughs> the reason I, I decided to go a little back and so you know, what you're in for, you know, for her to be doing what she's doing is um, is really, really phenomenal. To get from today's uh, leadership summit a whole lot. If you look at the speakers for today, you can see that a wide array of topics are going to be covered: finances, women's health, living a life of purpose and passion. And I believe in all of these areas. I definitely can learn a thing or two about how to be a better version of myself. We have some powerful speakers today. It's going to be a wonderful one, I know. Oh. And that's how we function. And that's why we don't take decisions that would actually change. So that very day, my professor of English told me that there was something in my voice that is pleasing to me. Apply these three points. I guarantee you, you wouldn't have somebody to tell you that you lived a good life. You would know it. So the first point that I want to talk to you about is actually decision power. Just decide. What does that mean? I know many of you kind of uh, scratching your head. Like, what does that mean? Decide. Who you are today and what you are. It's a result of many decisions that you've made in the past. Um, you should find someone. So if you have, if you're the type of person that you don't like to work out by yourself, or you're just finding it hard to get yourself motivated, then find somebody who also wants to work out and be healthy and and lose weight with you, and you guys can do it together, and you can hold each other accountable. Because it is hard just to do it by yourself. I, trust me, it's so hard. And trust me, I have those days where I wake up and I'm like. I don't know about this today. You know, I have to get up because it's part of my job. But I, CEOs are talking about alternative lifestyle exercises. So the longer you can get comfortable with being uncomfortable, the stronger you're going to get, That's and you're right. going to get over that hump. So many times we pigeonhole ourselves in terms of what's what our opportunities are because we see things just one way. But really, you know, what I was telling both my parents is, I said, your parents didn't have the opportunities you had. And it may have looked cra pretty crazy to them. Shell comes to you and says, take this exam. If you pass it, we're going to send you to the UK to study. And your parents had never been out of the country. <laughs> but you took that opportunity. And as a result, it opened the world to you. So why won't you give God a chance to be as original with me as he was with you? A lot of time, 
But what you don't know, like you said, what you don't know will hurt you, what you don't know will kill you. <laughs> and it will really kill you. So if you take a rest every month, we always say two days after each year, every month. And then the next month when you check it, you're going to find out something that is wrong. Like, it's like, hmm, I didn't feel this last month. Because it's one of the most terrible cancers that there is. And that's why for me, it means so much to me. I talk about it in my like literally pleading with my patient to get their pap smear done. And I just have a pap smear, oh, please do it. It takes about two minutes. No, 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 please, let's do it. Pap smear is a screening test for cervical cancer. I am enlightened now that I get to learn about black pumps. Um, I have been following um, Black Pumps TV on YouTube. So um, I am a very entrepreneurial person. So this is right up my alley. It helped me a lot because I met a lot of new people, which was open. I connected with people, they helped me. Why I'm still a member of the advisory group for a member of the group is because I believe in this lady right here, the CEO, Molly Wasiki. Because I have seen her go from nothing to where we are today. Get into business with my son. So I'm very, when I saw that, that she was doing that, you know, being one of the pioneers to say, you can think outside the box. You can be your own boss. You know, maybe share my story, maybe somebody else can relate, and also see other people's stories, see other people's journeys, what they've gone through. So you only had a vision and, you know, watching her just work tirelessly at her dream is so inspiring to me. And, um, I mean, every time that I contribute or every time I attempt to do something, it's really with that, you know, in the back of my mind that I really love what she's doing. And I like that we're not just, she's not just building, but we're building things differently, like we're stepping outside the box. So why am I here today? It's on my horizon. The Black Homes event, there's something new every day. There's something new every time. So I'm really looking forward to, uh, to meet new people. Nani? Yeah, okay. Okay. Thank you for always being there. You took this organization from nothing and you brought it to this point. That's it.